This is the world's lightest baseball. I spent hours crafting it out of carbon fiber to be stronger than steel and light as a feather. We wow. also brought out the world's heaviest baseball bats from previous videos, and we're gonna see how those fare against it. Now the question we want answered is, will a lighter ball actually go farther, or did I waste an entire week to answer this dumb question? There's only one way to find out. Uh... Perfect. Now the plan here is to take this sheet of carbon fiber and sandwich it between these two pieces of aluminum, giving us our baseball shape. And the best part about this is carbon fiber is very user friendly and never falls apart when you try to use it. These gloves. Well, I'll tell you what. Now I'm just gonna paint this on directly on the table. Just cause I know there's someone watching this who's gonna get annoyed by it. I'd kind of rather have too much and squish it out and not have enough. A wise man once said you can never have too much ball release. Aha! Aha! Ooh. All right, leave that and we'll see how it cures. That looks about right. I just need a little perfect. Okay, it's been two days. These should be cured. Let's get them undone. Now for this, I'll reach for my handy dandy carbon fiber hemisphere separation tool. Oh, it's in there like swimwear. Ooh, that doesn't look too bad. Ooh, the inside looks nice. Oh, okay, a little too much resin there. Didn't quite get the squeezing we hoped. Ooh. So as far as carbon fiber quality goes, that's uh, overall not too bad. It looks pretty good. Yay. These both fit inside of each other, so uh, riddle me that, Batman. You know what, I'm just gonna rub it around with my finger, cause I'm a rebel. I'm trying to keep this thin to keep it light. Aren't we all, am I right? Such is the conundrum of tape on carbon fiber. It'll hold it together while you need it, but then it'll take it apart when you don't. And that's why I prefer this raw approach, really. They just feel a lot more connected with the carbon fiber and the resin. There's just a real visceral feeling when you do it like this. It keeps it raw. Now kiss. Ah, uh, okay, now I'm just gonna hold this for the next 14 hours. Uh, okay, I think it's cured now. Got a little carried away. Oh. Look half bad. Saturn got a new skin. All right, well, I'm gonna go get myself measles daily on my VRB. Oh, oh, sorry, bro, I didn't mean to interrupt. There's nothing quite as satisfying as seeing your work amount to nothing. Resin schmezen. This baseball skin has seen better days. I may or may not have dropped it into a pot of molten bismuth. Oh. oh, it's going. Oh, nice. Perfect. Nothing abnormal here. I would use the skin from this baseball, but I forgot my sewing kit today. Normal baseball is about five ounces or 140 grams. So the world's lightest. Ooh, 35 grams or 1.2 ounces. Should have weighed it without the skin on it. Okay, we have the whole lineup from heaviest to lightest. We didn't get the tungsten one because it's kind of pointlessly heavy and impossible to swing. This is true. Except for dingers and dingers 2.0. <laughs> so, here's the ultimate ball gauntlet. The lightest or a normal? Which shall it be? <laughs> Okay, first up is the normal bat, normal ball for our control. And we're gonna not hit it as hard as we can because there's lots of things to be hit. I'm gonna hit as hard as I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a pretty decent swing. Good distance. We'll hit the light ball and then we'll go see the difference. Oof, how'd that feel? I, I didn't even feel it off the bat. <laughs> 
It, it felt a little weird throwing it. I threw it a little short. I think I definitely hit it, so it, it came down like yeah. I hit it square. So we'll Maybe. give that another hit. This is a little better, but yeah, that was pretty square. Okay, here's our light. But uh oh, oh, it's is it cracked? It is cracked, and not in a good way. Yeah, it's cracked. <laughs> well, uh, there's the there's the other ball. There's the difference. So quite a big difference. Okay, light bat test. Here we go. Oh, okay. Not a bad hit. Light ball. Oh. oh, I think we found the combo. Yeah, you know, light to light's pretty good. Well, uh, the light ball still went less distance than the normal one. But this rolls. This one, that one just doesn't roll. Yeah. But as far as flight time. Okay, eight pound aluminum bat. Solid aluminum bat. Normal ball. Oh, bad toss. Should I give you another one? Yeah, it wasn't too shabby, but... Okay. I mean, probably not Not gonna get a great swing with this bat. Ah. How'd that feel? <laughs> I couldn't tell you, though, the ball was that bad. <laughs> you just couldn't even get any feedback at all. That's whack. <laughs> get, get it, cause, uh, cause, whack the cause, ball. Cause you, uh, 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 so they went about the same distance. All right, solid brass bat. It's about 30 pounds. Not hard to swing at all. <laughs> now for all you tough guys saying that's not very heavy because there will be comments about that. Go try to pick up a dumbbell and hold it at the end. <laughs> Light ball, heavy bat. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, that thing was cooking. <laughs> that's the best I can possibly do. <laughs> Normal ball, heavy bat. <laughs> oh, made it further. <laughs> What's the sensation of hitting those balls with that bat? You don't feel anything. <laughs> You're just swinging something and hopefully it connected. You can't even tell if you aren't looking. <laughs> it's almost as if this ball is uh, not not good at being a baseball. Yeah, it's almost like it doesn't have any rebound at all. <laughs> so it is just a dead ball when you hit it. <laughs> it's almost like it's so light that the air just blows it around. <laughs> It's almost like this is pointless. <laughs> no, this is a great design. <laughs> Future of baseball right here. Well, there you have it, folks. World's lightest baseball is kind of pointless. Just like our channel. <laughs> <laughs>